your thoughts kind of what went wrong? Yeah, it was just small things, small little details. We just had to execute better. But we played a good game. Uh, I think we just let the, the noise get to us a little bit at the end. But, you know, they're, they're, they're hell of a team. You know, we, we got to give credit to them. Was the noise causing major communication issues, even with the, you know, silent counts and such? At first it wasn't, but I think towards the end it started to you know, be a little overbearing. You know, they got louder and louder in the second half. But, you know, it's our job to take care of that and have to do better next time. What's the difficulties they present up front for you guys on the offensive line? What did Clemson do with their front seven? I mean, they just they started to bring a lot. They started to bring seven, six. They started to mix and match. And, you know, at first they were trying to just play us. Uh, the defensive tackles, and, you know, we were sticking to it because we've been coached on it all week. But, you know, really, we just have to execute and do better for all the other plays and stuff like that. How hard is it to get unit cohesion when you know you've got so many injuries and they're rotating guys in and out? I mean, it's, it's really not that hard because, like I said, we practice that you know every week. We have different guys in and out. Uh, you know, we're pretty used to that. So there's really no excuse for right whoever's in there. We just have to play and do our jobs. On the fourth and one, you were on the field, correct? What happened on that play from your viewpoint? Um, I thought we got it, to be honest. Uh, I, was at, I was at right tackle, uh, had a nice stretch play left. Uh, I thought Dalvin got it, but uh, we marked it short. We had a good next time. Is it aggravating the struggles in short yardage situations, 30 and 4th down, where you guys just haven't been able to get pushed consistently this year? Yeah, I mean, it's frustrating. You know, we're consistently doing it, it's frustrating. But, you know, we're trying, working hard. We just have to get better this week. And, Next week we have it. What did Jimbo say to you guys in the locker room afterwards? He just said he was proud of us. You know, we, we fought the entire game. That's the number one team in the country. You know, it's Clemson. It's always a great game. We play each other. So he was just proud of us. And, you know, he just said, let's get over it. Let's get better next week. And, you know, keep fighting. Keep playing. With a shot at the ACC crown now off the table and you know those type of things not to play for, is it tough to find motivation or is it motivation to just close out and do the best you can? No, it's, not, it's not tough. Um, you know, we're going to fight to the end of the season no matter what. So really our motivation now is just to win the next game. We keep winning, you know, we're playing a good bowl game, we'll just keep fighting.